What in the world? Harper! Discus clothesline a raven! It is downfall, and it comes next week. The newest member of the Four Horsemen, One Lorcan. He's back! Panama Sunrise! Welcome back to ECW, Adam Cole, baby! Hello and welcome Universe Mode, this is ECW. Wasn't last week quite the surprise for everyone involved, and the surprises, well, they do indeed keep on rolling on here tonight in ECW. No, they don't, I'm just making that one up. Or do they? You'll find out during the show. What I can say is that tonight is going to be a great night of action for ECW. But we have pressing matters to attend to, I think, at the start and at the end of the show. As you see right there, yes, he came back last week, finally. Adam Cole returned to this universe and returned as a member of the ECW brand to go with it. Tonight, to kick things off on this show, we will be hearing from that man himself. We will be hearing from Adam Cole after a long, long time of having nothing from the man that used to be the World Heavyweight Champion for about two minutes. Nevertheless, Cole has returned and he will be kicking off this night by having a few words to say and I look forward to that one. But also at the end of this evening, we have another person talking. We have a better person talking. Seth Rollins will close out this show with Survivor Series news. That is right, Seth Rollins is going to challenge someone to a match at Survivor Series here tonight. That is at the end of the show, Adam Cole's at the start of the show, and yeah, there's some wrestling in between that. But, before we get to any wrestling, let's get to Adam Cole, baby. And well, here he is, and um, well, he's certainly over the moon. Look at him. What is he doing? Well, I guess, you know, if you've been gone for so long and you want to make an immediate impact upon your return, I, 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 I assume that's one way to do it. I'm not really too sure what the intentions there were for Adam Cole, though, but, uh, God, he is all over the place. And I guess he's all over the place because he's excited. There's no doubt about it. Adam Cole is ecstatic to be back. It has been a long, long time for Adam Cole, baby. And it's a time that he has waited so preciously for. A moment that he waited so preciously for last week was one of the crowning moments in his career. To be told for so long that he was gone. To be told for so long that there was no coming back for Adam Cole. And to think that he was all done for. But that wasn't the case. Adam Cole had a chance. He had a future. And that future was in ECW. And he had to take up the opportunity. Cole is sheer not to fit in, but to stand out. And if that means doing whatever it takes, then so be it. Interesting point there by Adam Cole, but he hasn't finished there. He continues talking, saying that what he means by that is simple. He's not just going to fit in. He's not going to be another piece to the roster. He's going to be one of the focal points to the roster. Week in and week out, Adam Cole wants something to do around here. He wants someone to fight. He wants something, anything to fight and he has no problem fighting the very best in that regard. That being said, Adam Cole would love to pick up where he left off on Monday Night Raw. Not the losing, not the having to leave, but the hunt for the title, the ECW title. If that means he has to go up against Seth Rollins, so be it. Adam Cole, as always, is making the statement. This is the time of Adam Cole. Baby. Well, he's certainly excited to be back, but one thing for certain as well is that Adam Cole has sent his message already. He is not fitting in on ECW. He is being a big part of ECW. He is going to do everything in his power to make sure that everyone knows who Adam Cole is and what he's all about. And if that means going after the ECW championship, as he puts it, then so be it. An extravagant Adam Cole is excited to be back. And well, as Adam Cole now makes his way backstage for the evening, congratulations to him there, I guess, on his extravagant promo. But nevertheless, it is time to move on. Coming up next, we have the reveal that we waited a week for. 
downfall is up next. What exactly does that mean? All right, well, it's time to answer that question. Just what is downfall? Two local talents waiting in the ring for the arrival of this. And here it is. Oh my goodness, that looks lovely. There's Alexander Wolf in the middle. There's Harper on the right. And there's a man in a sheep's mask on the left. And I know who is underneath that sheep's mask. And I know it's been a very, very, very long time since we last saw him. That is downfall. That is Harper. That is Wolf. That is Rowan. This is what? Harper left Raven for. This is what Harper and Wolf turned on Raven for. For this, Harper's grand creation, Downfall, is born here tonight on ECW. Wow! They took off their coats and they have more coats underneath them. I'm not too sure how that one worked out. Where did that mask come from as well? All right, guys. A little bit of freaky things going on already. Yeah, ah. They, they, they are right there. That much is for certain. Downfall has arrived. And what a striking, striking impact it is. Rowan has returned. Harper brings him in. And Wolf awaits on the outside. Raven got ditched for this, and I'll be honest, I think all things considered, it was the right decision. Here we go, best of luck guys, you're gonna, you're gonna need it, oh my goodness! Just throw one, yep, yeah, we, we knew that was gonna happen, yeah, alright Wolf. This is not gonna be an evening to remember for these two guys. This is gonna be an evening for this duo to show to everyone what they're all about. This is the evening for Downfall to truly take over in that regard and to just send their statement. Oh, oh, he's countering his way out of it is this local talent. Close line up and over the top rope goes Rowan. If I was this local talent, I'd probably go tag out uh, Venom on the outside, whoever the fuck that is. Picking Rowan back up to his feet there, and able to get a quick shot on him, but that was essentially the end of that. Quick shot, nothing more. Back in the ring we go now. Rowan has waited a long time to get his hands on anyone in this universe. It has been a long time since we've even seen Rowan in this universe, and immediately he will work on sending his statement. Got wrench, got buster connected with right there. And now just unloading away. Overhand punch there in youth. Oh god, things are getting underway in what, shall we say, is not exactly the greatest of times for this youngster. But no one else is going to step up to the plate, you know. Sometimes you just got to throw in someone like that, and this is exactly what's happened to him. But look at the damage that these two guys are ready to do to him. Tried fighting back there. Stopped. Oh no. Full Nelson up into a power bomb. And just throw one into the mat. My goodness. Harper putting the boots to him just after it. Make, uh, sorry, Rowan putting the boots to him after just making sure that he ain't going anywhere. Super kick from Harper as well. And across the ring he goes as well. Oh, this beat down. This beatdown of this youngster is just, well, it's just cementing the damage of downfall. And it's not exactly looking like a positive night for anyone in the ECW Tag Team Division who would ever want to try and go against them. Uppercut absolutely drilling him there, sending him into the turnbuckle as well. Oh, counter though. Able to muster one up. Can he get anything else going here? No, he cannot. Counted, sent it to the turnbuckle. Shoves an elbow in, though. 
Still able to counter back, whoever this youngster is. And he might go and drag in Gimby Venno in the corner. No, he won't. Went for a drop kick instead and got countered. And a, oh my god, running Lariat. Yep, that went about as well as you could expect for him. Harper in position now. Here we go, up in the air and just dumping him face first. The end is most certainly on its way, or not, counter. He's still trying to fight back, and I think that is where things have just come to an end. Oh no, what are we going to see here from these two? Bringing him in, double-armed, choke, bomb. Look at the emphasis put on this move. Look at the impact of this move to go with it. Up and right back down. Just flung way up in the air, and back down you go. There goes Gimpy Venom. There's the cover, and there is no kick out. Downfall is here. Oh, good God. Ooh, this is what we have seen. This is what has been created here tonight. And there they are. Wolf is on the outside to go with them. But I think at the end of this evening, a lot of people will be talking about downfall. What an arrival. What an immediate impact. Everyone on ECW, strap yourselves in. It looks like it's going to be a dangerous time, especially for the tag team champions. Speaking of those tag team champions, one of them is in action up next. Moving on from this beatdown, we should be in for an entertaining match up next between Austin Aries and Johnny Gargano. Well, swiftly moving on with the action here tonight in ECW into what shall be an entertaining contest for certain. Switching the mood, I think is the best way of putting it here. These two guys fought for the right to be the ECW Tag Team Champions a few weeks ago in the last ECW of the last series of Universe. It was the greatest tag team that ever lived. Austin Aries and Tyler Breeze taking on the duo of DIY, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Gargano and Ciampa retained on that evening. However, there was a return match wanted by both sides. Aries wanted to face Gargano one-on-one. -on -one. Gargano welcomed it. And the match has happened here tonight. You see no Tyler Breeze at ringside with Aries. There will be no Chomper at ringside with Gargano either. These two guys, they just want a match. There's not really, any, there's not much more to it. They just want a match. And that is exactly what we're going to see here between these two sides. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it in that regard. I like the idea of just two sides just facing, just for the sake of having a match. And here is Aries anyway. Nice new attire for him here. Not too sure how I feel about the lack of a robe and all that, you know, that was always a, a great side to Austin Aries, but... Um, here we go, between these two guys now. Aries, uh... You know, if Aries wins here tonight, I'm, I, I, I'll have to think about where that goes regarding the tag team division. Um, because, you know, it, it, it could certainly be said that it kind of... That, they have earned themselves another shot by beating one half of the tag team champions. But who really knows what the plan is for DIY heading forward? Who really knows if they're going to be defending the titles at Survivor Series? Or if there's something else planned for them at Survivor Series? I don't really know yet. What I do know is that Survivor Series is fastly approaching. It's a month uh, away from today. And we may, uh, we may have to decide... We have to be a boardroom meeting soon to decide what the hell's going on. Meet up with the other general managers and see what's going to happen with Survivor Series as a whole. Nevertheless, Johnny Gargano ready for this evening's action. Here's that ECW tag team title around his waist. Second reign for DIY as tag team champions. Won the titles in September, I believe it was. And the, only t and the uh, first title defense they had was against the duo of Aries and... Uh, Sorry, I blanked for a second. They do have Aries and Tyler Breeze. But here we go now. Aries starting things off with Gargano sending them aggressively to the outside. Let's see what happens now between these two guys. As the, as the fight starts on the outside here. Forearm in the face by Gargano. Both guys kind of even with each other in terms of height and weight. It's a very evenly split match in terms of physical. But uh, in terms of how they look physically. But then you get into the intricacies of it all and you realize what the difference is between these two sides. I mean, 
time has certainly benefited one side, but at the same time, um, it's what that it, it's it's what Austin Aries has done with that time that makes the most of it. Gargano uh, is a two-time ECW Tag Team Champion, and that's pretty much all he's done. Uh, Austin Aries is a former ECW Tag Team Champion, former Cruiserweight Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champion, four-time World Champion. The only man in this universe to have held every world championship. Former Royal Rumble winner. And, to the best of my knowledge, the man with the most, world ti the man with the most titles in this universe as a whole. Clocking in at either 8 or 9. Yeah, I don't know how he does it either. But he has done for his entire career. And that's what Austin Aries is all about. One of the longest tenured talents on this universe. And also one of the most, if not the most successful in terms of belts won. And has had some of the most matches in this universe as well. Right now, he's got a square up against Johnny Gargano. Cover made by Gargano on Aries. A very slow kick out of two there. On Johnny Wrestling. But Aries might have just been using it to conserve energy. We know ECW certainly had a great match last week between Kurt Angle and John Cena. Angle will be competing in the main event of this evening. So that should be an interesting one to bear witness to. Backbreaker, neckbreaker combination there. Nicely struck there by Austin Aries. And again, disorientating Johnny Gargano with the claps in the ear there. Kind of setting him off his, off his guard. Gargano responding, sending him into the turnbuckle. Oh, went for the drop kick. Aries evaded it. Great counters from both sides right now. Aries in with a neckbreaker though. Gargano going to retort to the apron. It's very much so a back and forth matchup right now between these two guys. Nice form in the face though by Johnny Gargano. Leaps back in the ring for a second. And into the turnbuckle shall go Austin Aries to get countered uh, though. Kick in the gut by Aries now. And oh, Aries getting a little bit disrespectful there. Slapping Johnny Gargano right in the face. And he has him lined up now. Aries, Brain Buster! Could the Brain Buster end things here? Could it grant victory for Aries over Johnny Wrestling? There's two and a kick out by Gargano at two. He certainly thought that he had him for a moment there, but Gargano doing his best to make sure. Aries knew that that wasn't the case. Pushing him off there temporarily. Aries pulling himself up to his feet, but Gargano going to help him up to his feet his own way. Here we go now. Gargano exploding away. The black handles, ducks under, rolls through, kicks him right in the head. Stumbling into the turnbuckle now is Austin Aries. And the greatest man that ever lived could very well be finding himself in problems. Snap me out of the turnbuckle. Running drop kick into the back of the head as well. What more has Gargano got planned? Once again into the turnbuckle goes Austin Aries. And this time, it's not going to be a nice landing for him. Lawn darted into the second turnbuckle. What a move from Johnny Gargano. And could this be where he can get the win? Aries says no as he keeps on fighting here. This one isn't over between these two sides. Fight still well, well and truly continuing on. Reverse DDT from Aries and the multi-time world champion will pull himself up to the top rope. Aries up high. Went for the 450 but got knees from Gargano. And Johnny Gargano now suplex driver. No. Countered. Close line from Aries. What a match this is turning into from these two sides. Swinging everything at each other. And now here goes Aries. Swinging back with a few strikes of his own. Trio of lariats. And stumbling into the corner is Johnny Wrestling. What a drop kick from, oh my God. What a drop kick from Aries. Goes for the cover after it. Looking to put away Gargano, who still kicks out of two. And Austin Aries might be questioning right now how much, what, what more do I have to do to put this man away? And Gargano, I don't think has any intentions of telling him the answer. Single leg Boston Crab applied here though by Aries onto Gargano. 
Can Gargano force himself out of this hold? Absolutely he can. They are putting up one hell of a fight right now. There isn't even a title on the line. There might be a title opportunity, but everything is being done by Aries to make this win as tough as possible for Gargano to achieve. And he himself is fighting out of a single leg Boston Crab right now. Gargano swats it away. Counters him. Spinning kick in the gun. Johnny wrestling in now. Slice bread. Rolling cutter in the middle of the ring. And that could put him in the perfect position to seek out what he wants. It's Gargano. Going to look for it though. Bringing Aries up to his feet right now. Turning him round. Oh, I know what this is. Full Nelson. Face buster. Gargano moves out of the cover. Will this be enough to put away Aries? Aries says absolutely not. And still showing great fire to kick out of the count of one. Gargano can't let this get away from him. And he isn't. Gargano in. Super kick from Gargano. Scoots into the cover. Cover made by Gargano. There's two and there's three. Johnny Gargano wins it. And what a win it was to achieve as well. What a contest it was at that. And what a win. Wow, Austin Aries was putting everything, everything he could up on the line. Doing everything he could to make that match as tough as it could possibly be. And that was something else to lay witness to. But what a win for Johnny Gargano. I know I said it once already, but man, he had to fight for it. And that is why DIY is at the top of the tag team division. So it doesn't matter who it is who's in the ring against them. It could be the greatest tag team that ever lived. It could be uh, the Four Horsemen. It could be the Wyatt family. It could even be Downfall. You're always going to get that fight from Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. That is what DIY is all about. Well, speaking of the Four Horsemen, it is time to see their newest member in action once again up next. Picked up a win over the Brian Kendrick last week. Tonight, he takes on uh, Jack Gallagher. It is One Lorcan in action next. Well, there is the... Uh Opponent for this match, Jack Gallagher awaiting his arrival in the ring. And I am interested to see how One Lorcan can continue on what he started last week. Credit where it's due to him, he kicks fired everything off in his NXT career in a great way. Introduced by Roderick Strong, saying that he was the piece of the puzzle that they needed. And he most certainly has proved that from the get-go. One Lorcan has shown what he's capable of in a very short period of time. His win last week was a very impressive one at that, and now he looks to continue things going here in this match against gentleman Jack Gallagher. Roderick Strong going to be at ringside with him as well. Of course, the horsemen. They are the four horsemen, but they are currently operating at three, for lack of a better term, due to the fact that Chris Jericho has been out for an elongated period of time with injury. He's supposed to be back by now, but other injuries that Jericho had sustained throughout his career... Uh, kind of came through with a shining light during the process of recovery. And so it was in Jericho's best intentions to sort them out so he could continue his career. Jack Gallagher there with a cheap shot on One Lorcan as this match gets underway. And I don't imagine that's going to reside well within Lorcan. Oh, who comes in with a crushing lariat right there. Mistake may well have been made by gentleman Jack Gallagher, but he's going to fight on you. Striking him right in the gut. He has the arm temporarily. Only temporarily, though, as he gets caught right in the face. Jack Gallagher. Oh, interesting. Bit of work here. Body scissors. Yes, and he flips him over. Nice new attire on Jack Gallagher to go with it as well. But certainly, these two guys are making the most of this matchup right now. From behind. Tiger suplex. Oh, yes. Throwing him away. We saw that Oney Lorcan's the guy who really relies upon his in-ring abilities you know he is not a an extravagant athlete he's not going around doing incredible moves but the moves that he does are lethal the moves that he does are destructive and they are more than enough to put away your opponent 
as we saw last week with the Brian Kendrick, that half hatch suplex finishing the job very nicely indeed. Gallagher right now trying to prove a tough egg to crack, a tough nut to crack, rather, what another great lariat struck though by da uh, by only Lorcan. Kicking the gut by Lorcan now, here we go, neck breaker incoming. No, it is not, because they've Gallagher in with another counter. Double underhook suplex incoming, I imagine, as well. And I think I know what Gallagher's doing here. He's realized this is a great opportunity for me to make a name for myself. I could beat the newest member of the Four Horsemen. Perhaps I can also prove that it should have been me who should have been picked in that role, not only Lorcan. And on top of that, victory here for Gallagher may get him some attraction in terms of titles, and maybe in some other, some other groups as well. Who really knows? All the opportunities are lining up for Gallagher should he win here tonight. And he's putting up a real tough fight right now to make sure that that is the case for him. Take down though by Oni Lorcan. Unloading away now. Gallagher covering up, covering up to the best of his abilities. Oni Lorcan has been doing a strong job so far. Oh, what a backhanded shot there across the chest. Let's see how things continue on now. In the turnbuckle goes Jack Gallagher. And he is going to go face first into it as well. Oney Lorcan might be setting things up now for the path to victory. Oh, he has him in. Oney Lorcan already. Oh, that suplex to Gallagher. Gallagher going face first into the mat and maybe going into the record pages. As a loss over Lorcan, but he's kicking at it too. Roderick Strong essentially telling him there to be calm, to stay, you know, to, to cool down, to make sure that he doesn't get in over his head and make a crucial error in this one. And pretty, you know, that is good advice to give as well. It's pretty vital that you don't get hot-headed or you don't get aggressive because you can put things away. You keep on going back to work in order to make sure that you do finish off this matchup the next time you strike with that move. Only Lorcan looking for another, look for another kind of belly to belly. The second time in the match he's looked for it, and the second time that Jack Gal has come out with a counter as well. Let's see what happens now. Gallagher in. Irish whip up and over the top rope. Interesting. Forearm shot. Sended. Sended? That's not even a word. Sent Lork into the outside. And let's see what happens out of the ring right now. Another forearm there by Gallagher. Drilling him with them. Chop. Oh, but Lorcan will return with one. For the very pale chested Jack Gallagher. Let's see what will happen right now though. Is this one... Is still continuing on. Jack Gallagher with a good counter sending O'Neill Lorcan into the turnbuckle. Larry up to the back there. Could be an opportunity winding up here for Jack Gallagher. If he, if he can hit the right thing, went for the head, but it all met with one hell of a lariat. An uppercut, sorry. Lovely neck breaker as well from O'Neill Lorcan. And he's lining himself up now. Look at this. He awaits himself in the turnbuckle. Gallagher met with a running blockbuster neckbreaker. And Oney Lorcan will look to finish things off. And he hasn't yet. Gallagher still hanging in this one. If there's anything I want to give credit to, it is the resiliency of Jack Gallagher. He has shown that he doesn't want to give in, but he may have no choice. Half hatch suplex connected with by Lorcan, and that should absolutely seal the deal now. There's two, there's three, this time it's over. Another win in the column for Oney Lorcan. It was a fun match to go with it. Great win for Oney Lorcan. And it has to be said, the Four Horsemen certainly made a great choice in picking this man. Whenever Jericho comes back, He's going to be proud of what he is seeing from this guy. Shake of the hand there from Jack Gallagher as well, admitting even in defeat he was beaten by the better man. But credit where it's due, I saw a lot of heart and a lot of fight from Gallagher here tonight. That was great stuff there from both men. A real tough matchup for Lorcan to win, which is what he needs to fit in here on ECW. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just received reports that... Something's going on backstage involving Mustafa Ali. He was doing action up next. We're, we're going to go backstage right now. We're, we're, we're backstage here. That's, that's Ali on the ground. 
but is that... Oh my god, Hammerlock DDT, is that Zach Gibson? What is Zach Gibson doing here of all people? And why is he assaulting Ali? Ali was doing action up next against... against Drew Gulak, but... I wasn't expected to be seeing this Ali being sent into the locker room right now. Oh my goodness, no, no! Zach Gibson has him up, it is Zach Gibson! And a locker room power bomb to Ali, brings him down! Ali is out cold! Gibson is proud of what he just accomplished! What? What is all this for? Oh no! No, I, I see Neville heading towards the ring! That's what this was for! Oh, look at him! He looks happy with what he just saw! He's in the ring and he's proud of it! Oh, this was what it was for, wasn't it? Yep, you know it was. Neville laughing at what he just witnessed. And he hopes everyone else enjoyed witnessing it as well. Because that was the newest member of the British Empire. Welcome Zach Gibson into the group. And that was the final piece of the puzzle to quote and to mock the Four Horsemen. And now Neville says they have done all they needed to do to get their point across. The British Empire will continue on and they set their sights on Survivor Series. It doesn't matter who and it doesn't matter what. They're going there, they are doing something and they are putting everyone on notice. This is their time. Oh man. That was a threat to everyone, not just on ECW. That was a threat to absolutely everyone. Neville, the British Empire, they're going to cause mayhem. That is pretty, pretty big information to take away here on ECW. The newest member of the British Empire as well in Zach Gibson. It is all unfolding and unraveling here on ECW and we still have our main event of the evening to get to and it's coming up next. Kurt Angle against Braun Sorry, Braun Strowman. What a hectic night of action here. I hope Ali is all right. Um, Drew Gulak will, I assume, get a, well, well, he'll get a match at some point soon, I hope. But uh, that was pretty devastating for Mustafa Ali backstage there. That was one hell of a beatdown. That locker room powerbomb just hasn't been given a break as of late. Kurt Angle. Heading towards the ring though, and I imagine this is a guy though who is absolutely loving not having a break because last week was an incredible match for him against uh, John Cena. They had one hell of a fight in that one-on-one -on -one contest. It was Angle who came out with the win, countering the attitude adjustment and hitting the Angle slam. His reward though might not be as great as he wanted it. It's a non-title match against the champion, yeah, but that champion is Braun Strowman. It's the first time we've seen Braun Strowman since he won the title as well at No Way Out. Oh, good God. This is, this is how things go, though. I haven't put Angle in this predicament to screw him over. I haven't put him in this predicament to, like, as if to say, stop winning matches on ECW. You know, if you do well enough, you, you deserve a non-title match against the champion. But, yes, the champion is Braun Strowman. What do you want me to do about it? There's nothing I can do about it. We just kind of have to accept it. The Wyatt family's Braun Strowman is ready here and he has the ECW Television Championship around his waist to go with it. Yeah, this is going to be great. Strowman won the title of No Way Out, of course, in the Fatal 4-Way. There was great controversy on the night about Strowman winning with his foot on the rope, with his foot allegedly being on the bottom rope, covering Rollins, perhaps a legitimately referee should have called a rope break, match should have continued on. Uh, there was a lot of chatter about it, about how Rollins deserved a rematch, and I said it on the night, if Rollins wanted a rematch, he could have one. And the, the reality is right now for Seth Rollins, that isn't his intention. Rollins wants to focus on himself, ECW, and this historic ring. And I think the other reality to it as well, and, I, and I, this, sound, this might sound wrong coming from me, who might be talking ill of Rollins for a second of all people, but what I think happened was, regardless of if that foot was on the bottom rope or not, I don't think there was anything changing Braun Strowman winning in that moment. I think that was just his foot being in the, the right place at the right time. 
And that was that. I think Rollins would have stayed down for that three count. That match had been grueling on him already. He, he was busted open. And the running power slam could certainly do a trick to end someone. So that, that's my personal opinion on it. But Rollins does not want a rematch. He instead wants to focus and continue on his illustrious reign. Of course, we'll be hearing from Rollins up next. But here right now is our main event of the evening between these two guys. Stomp on the back there by Braun Strowman. Look at this though from Angle. Taking the leg away from Braun Strowman now. What an opportunity this is for him as well. Try and get one over on the television champion. Chop lighting up the chest and a running DDT after it as well. Driving him into the mat. And Braun feeling pretty confident about himself. I don't, I don't imagine Braun Strowman watched last week's match with Kurt Angle. But um, if he somehow did, then I'm sure he would have taken note of the resiliency of Angle and how tough it was for Cena to put him away in that moment. Strowman on the outside. Another backbreak out of Kurt Angle. Fight continuing on out here. And by fight, I mean Braun Strowman stomping away far more than once on Kurt Angle. Trying to get himself up to his feet here is Angle. Things aren't looking that great for him. Oh, face first into the, the ring apron there. That's not going to do you any favours. But Angle mustering up a counter there. And he wants to keep on doing this in the ring. He wants to fight this man in the ring. And that's exactly what he's going to get. Strowman returning to the ring. Angle in with a flying forearm. Strowman hasn't gone off his feet once in this match. Now he does. Great bit of work by Kurt Angle. This could be where things could open up for the Olympic gold medalist. Has the arm locked in there, driving him face first into the mat. You best believe if we see any kind of a, of a German suplex in this one, it will be something to behold. Angle, I think, just relying upon a trusty move for this matchup, as you can see right there. He's taking Strowman off his feet far more than once, and that is great to see. And what I think is even better about it is that he's just using Strowman's own strength and size against him, bringing him down to the mat with very simple moves, and now going to work on the legs as well of Braun Strowman. And of course, if he wants to lock in that ankle lock, if he wants to win with it, this is exactly the way to go about it. Take away the, the verticality of Strowman as well. And Strowman finds himself at a big disadvantage in that very moment. Here we go now. Angle again on the leg. Elbow down onto the knee. And this is where the television champion can find himself in trouble now. Can Kurt Angle dictate the pace long enough? No. Strowman in with a counter. And just run him right down there. He may well be a member of the Wyatt family. But for the most part, Braun Strowman just does things by himself. Just like his fellow family member in Alistair Black. Look at this now, pulling himself up to his feet, angling with a can of it. Sending Strowman into the turnbuckle, shoulder tackle, angle, belly to belly. To Braun Strowman, and the straps are coming down. Angle is meaning serious business already. He's going to do it. Angle in. Oh my God. There's one of them. Here comes a second. And now... A third German suplex in a row to Braun Strowman. Angle swinging for the fences. Could he be on track to try and beat Braun Strowman here tonight? Reverse DDT now. And the television champion could be in an almighty predicament. Angle has the ankle. And here we go, here we go, just going to lock himself round it. Ankle lock applied to Strowman. Ankle lock applied. And he just got out of it. Strowman just instantly got out of that one. Kicking his way free. Before the referee even had time to ask if Strowman wanted to give up. Lariat though by Angle. He isn't giving up right now. He is still going all out for the win. From behind, no. Elbows by Strowman. Angle having to let go. Staggered and dazed right now. And that's just what Strowman wants as he lifts him up here. Dumping him off to the side. Kurt Angle's hopes may well have been dashed right now. This is going to be it. This is what I see as being enough. Wait, no. 
Well, if he was looking for the triple jammers, he, he uh, sorry, if he was looking for the eye, uh, for the, fuck, I, I blanked on so much there. Oh my God, he's going to do it again. <laughs> Angle in with three more German suplexes. Are you kidding me right now? Kurt Angle with another tree out of Strowman. How do you do that? But Strowman right away able to counter his way out of it. Oh, no. Oh, that's not looking good for him. Gorilla press. And just throwing him down onto the mat. What a tough match this is This is turning into for Angle. But he ain't giving in. Clothesline. Duck under by Strowman. Way up in the air for Angle off that back body drop. And now, Spine Buster to go with it. Strowman lifting him up here. Does he think he's done enough to put things away here with Kurt Angle? He's going to lift him up. And Angle could very well at this point be dead weight. The television champion. Believes to think the same as well. Chop right on the head of Angle now. And this could very well be where things come to a crushing end for Angle. Nerve grip applied right now in the final moments, but this may just be to stop Angle from any kind of late fight back. This, should, this could also just be Strowman wanting to apply some more punishment before he looks to end it. And here we go. Angle in deep trouble. Nowhere to turn to and nowhere to go, but down. Running power slab from Strowman. One, two, three. It only takes one from Strowman to end the deal. And that's exactly what has happened here. Rod Strowman wins in your main event of the evening. Angle was doing everything in his power. Remember heading out of this night. Angle hit six German suplexes on Braun Strowman. Don't say that he wasn't fighting from the very get-go, because he absolutely was. And if he had had that ankle lock applied for a few, a few minutes longer, I mean minutes, maybe, just maybe, Strowman could have tapped out. That is a topic for another day, though. Braun Strowman, nevertheless, is your winner. And now we move on to what you can call the quote-unquote main event of the evening. It's the final portion of the evening. Seth Rollins is going to challenge someone to a match at Survivor Series. But the big question is, who does he challenge? You're going to find out your answer to that question up next. And there he is heading towards the ring, the 400-plus day reigning ECW champion. The man responsible for why ECW is the A show week in and week out. Rollins is here tonight though with a groundbreaking announcement. He was allowed this, we were granted this opportunity by the higher powers and we're very thankful for it. But the big question is, Seth Rollins is going to challenge someone here tonight. But who does he go out to challenge? Who does Rollins want to face? at Survivor Series. This is an answer that I absolutely cannot wait for at all. Rollins has the microphone in hand and he's not going to tackle it right away. Instead talking first about how great ECW is looking in this series of universe. Looking at some of the talents around it and of course it doesn't matter if you're Adam Cole, Braun Strowman, Kurt Angle etc etc there is one man at the top as there always has been. That is Seth Rollins, and that will remain Seth Rollins. Glad we're glad everyone's learning that right off the bat. What Rollins does have to say, though, is that despite not uh, despite not wanting his rematch for the East of Television Championship, he has bigger fish to fry. S Survivor Series is right around the corner. Seth Rollins knows it, and unlike last year, Rollins won't retain the title at Survivor Series, but he's going to be in the main event of Survivor Series, a spot well earned for a record-breaking reign. And Rollins continues on now, but who? Who is in Seth Rollins' eyes 
to face him at Survivor Series. In the main event slot, who should deserve to face the 400 plus day reigning ECW champion? Well, there is only one man who he thinks should have it. A man who has been used in the same breath as Seth Rollins all year. Why don't we find out who is truly the best? What do you mean? Oh my god. Seth Rollins challenges Kazuchika Okada at Survivor Series. You want to prove who the best is? Let's do it. Rollins Okada Survivor Series. What say the Rainmaker? Oh, yes, please. The greatest of all time in the Rainmaker Survivor Series. Rollins has issued the challenge to Kazuchika Okada. Smackdown Live, please just say yes to it.